Greetings. So it's eight days until the publication of my book, Boyne Camino, so I'm anxious for people to begin getting it into their hands. And today I'm wearing my, once again, my Tilly hat, the backpack I wore, and this is the second shirt that I took along the way that uh, I thought I'd just wear it and share it with you. But today is going to be unique. I, I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to read you a story about the rooster that's one of my favorite stories about the Camino. The Legend of the Rooster from Santo Domingo de la Cazada. One of the more charming legends surrounding the Camino de Santiago involves a rooster and a boy falsely accused of theft. The story takes place in the town I entered when the bubble burst in my right shoe, Santo Domingo de la Cazada. As the tale runs, a pilgrim couple traveling with their son stopped at an inn in the town. The innkeeper's daughter was attracted to the son, but he refused her advances. Angry at being spurned, she hid one of her father's silver goblets in the boy's pack, which he unwitting, unwittingly took with him when the family departed the next morning. The theft was reported, and when the authorities searched the traveler's belongings, they naturally found the goblet. As a result, the hapless boy was taken to the town to be hanged as a thief. For reasons not made clear in the legend, the parents continued their pilgrimage, presumably lamenting their son's fate and intending to pray to St. James for his rescue. When they returned on their way home, they passed the gallows in the town square of Santo Domingo de la Cazada and saw their son hanging there and still miraculously alive. The astounded and delighted parents rushed to the home of the town constable and reported their unbelievable findings. The officer who was dining on chicken is said to have told the parents, your son is no more alive than this rooster I am about to eat. At this point, it is said, the erstwhile main course stood up on the constable's plate and began crowing vigorously. The astounded constable ran to the gallows and cut the boy down, giving him a full pardon and restoring him to his parents. To this day, a rooster and hen reside in a cage in the cathedral of Santo Domingo de la Cazada, a testament to the miraculous survival of the innocent victim but nothing further is known about the fate of the spiteful girl who falsely accused the young traveler. So again, like I said, that's one of my favorite stories and I hope you enjoy it. So enjoy the book and Boing Camino.